this is Gabor again. In this video I will show you and talk about my Anki flashcard system in more details as it was one of the most important cornerstone of my Spanish learning. I think it deserves some additional time to talk about. If you haven't seen my original video where I reach a good communication level in Spanish just in six weeks, I put a link in the description. I read several books on language learning and when it comes to vocabulary then always spaced repetition comes up first. It is the king of vocabulary learning so if you don't know about it I highly suggest you watching a short video uh, I put a link in the description. It explains really well what this SRS system is about. After I figured out this SRS system is very good, I found Anki, of course, and I also started to research Anki because I didn't want to create a system where I simply put on front of the card an English word and the back on the card a Spanish word because I felt it's just, it's just not efficient enough. And this research led to that I created my own types of flashcards where I also optimized what I put into these flashcards and uh, what kinds of cards are created in this Anki system. Before I break down in this video how these cards look like, I would like to be totally transparent. I will offer my cards for purchase later on. Uh, it will be a totally reasonable price, actually I think it's too cheap, but I would like to make it accessible for anybody. I put several months of work creating and researching how to make these cards and I know that you can save hundreds, literally hundreds of hours if you learn efficiently with this system. I hope I proved it really well in my last video. My plan is that I'm gonna restructure these cards to be more suitable for you guys, but these cards will be available only if you tell me that you would like to have it. So there is a link in the description, simply put your email into that link and it is a good sign for me that I can start working on that. If there are enough people who are interested in it, then later on I will send you an email when the cards are ready. So let's break down why is it much more than just a simple word list. The information that I put into each card are the following. The new Spanish word, a picture if it's possible, an example sentence in Spanish, the pronunciation of the new word, the pronunciation of the example sentence, the translation of the example sentence is also on the card, and the translation of the word, uh, but only if it's necessary. If it could be showed by a picture, then a picture is there. I created the cards from the 750 most commonly used Spanish words, which give you access to 65-70% of the spoken language. Let's see how I optimized these cards. When I add a new word to my system, then two types of cards are created. One is for training my ears, thus it improves listening skills. The other one requires me to recall the word. I think it doesn't need much explanation that recalling a word is much more difficult, but this is what you need if you want to speak the language. Let's look at an example. This is one flashcard from my system, but now I will recreate this card just to see what we have on the card. We have the word, which in this case is to sing, cantar. As I said, if it's possible to describe a word with a picture it's much better because from visual memory you learn much easier and faster. I put some word forms in it just in case it's better to have. And what's really important that we have a sentence in the target language also a sentence with a translation. and the pronunciation of the sentence, which is here, and also the pronunciation of the given word. Cantar. So, these are the informations that we have on the card. I just simply add this card and I'm gonna show you what types of card are created with all of this information. So, this is a test and I can I can hit the button study now. I created an Anki deck 
called Spanish Example. And I have two cards in this system right now. One is the card that we created to sing. Uh, we will see how it's working. And the other one is the word boring or bored. Okay, let's take a look at it. Study now. Cantar. Canto bastante bien. So we heard first the word and then we heard the example sentence. My task here is to recognize what the native speaker says. This is very good for the listening skills and I can hit the show answer button and I can decide how easy or how difficult it was. Of course, these numbers and these days and minutes, it will change. This is the power of space repetition system. But on the back of the card, there is the sing to sing, cantar. I know that, that I need to remember this word. And I also see the example sentence. So all the informations that we put into the card, if I hit the button R, then it repeats also the word and also the example sentence, the pronunciation. Cantar. Canto bastante bien. As I said in the previous video, it's a really good idea when you are learning to repeat this word and really try to connect this word with this picture. Don't try to translate it, try to connect the picture with the word. So I I hit R again. Cantar. Canto bastante bien. Canto bastante bien. Canto bastante bien. Also a great tip that I said in the previous video. I don't really look at the translation. Instead the translation here, I imagine the situation where I can use this sentence. Canto bastante bien. And with the pronunciation, I really take care to try to mimic the native speaker. Cantar. Cantar. Canto, Canto bastante bien. bien. And now I decide how easy or difficult it was. Aburrido. Vamos, juega conmigo. Estoy tan aburrido. So, it was again the word and an example sentence that I heard. Aburrido. Vamos, juega conmigo. Estoy tan aburrido. Aburrido. Vamos, juega conmigo. Estoy tan aburrido. Same principles here. And then I decide. Yes. And this is the other type of card. Because when you already know the word cantar, it's much easier to recognize the listening one but the active vocabulary is much more difficult. So this will come usually on other day when you are already familiar with the listening card. And this is the active vocabulary card where you need to know that to sing is cantar. Cantar. Canto bastante bien. And again, you can decide. Aburrido. Vamos, juega conmigo. Estoy tan aburrido. A very short uh, explanation about how this part working. So if I hit the one day button, good, then one day later, these options will be changing. If I don't remember, there will be an option again. So it will come within 10 minutes. The good option will be like, it will come two days and the easy will be seven days. And for example, if I find this card still good, and I hit the button good, then again, these numbers are changing. If I forget it, it will come again in 10 minutes. If I still remember it, then instead of one or two days, it will be already like five days. And the easy will be around uh, 11 days. So this is the spaced repetition system. So with this system, you will learn the most commonly used vocabulary. You are fine tuning your ears and from the example sentences, you are getting a lot of grammar structures. And this whole is in the SRS system. And that's why Anki was perfect for me. And I know it could really work well for you. If you use this system, I have two promises for you. One, you will save a ton of time for yourself because it's efficient. And the other one, which is very related, but interesting to see, it will generate results. And results are very important for the long run because results in the short run 
keeps you motivated. And if you are motivated, then you just simply don't give up. If you are wondering how much do you need to use Anki to see results, I would say that if you use Anki daily for 30-40 minutes, you will get through and remember the 750 most important words in around uh, 3 months. I would combine it with listening of language transfer and you will have an excellent foundation of Spanish language. Another question could be that what are the technical requirements for Anki? Uh, the program is free and you can use it in a PC or in a smartphone. The iOS version has a paid app but I also learned on my iPhone using the Anki web internet version for free and uh, only for installation you need a PC and that's all. I hope you already got some great tips. If you are interested, sign up. There's the button in the description. There's also my last video in the description. There's also the SRS video in the description. Thank you very much for your attention. You can also leave a comment. What's your opinion about uh, this SRS system? And have you used it before? If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and until next time.